Good morning, Lake Lungern. Hi, I'm Jack. And I'm Spons. And uh, this is going to be our last official Good Morning Lake Lungern episode. So what we thought we would do is somebody told us that we should shave our beards. And we looked at each other and said, ain't no way we're shaving our no, beards. So, I've wanted a beard since I was uh, a year old and I finally did it. So it's not yeah. coming off because I have a fear that it might not come back. So, so we're still going to do some shaving, but we decided to shave some kiwis instead of shave our faces. Yeah, kiwis are fuzzy and the funny thing is is the peach fuzz on kiwis kind of look like the color of my beard hair when it's this small because they're mm -hmm. orange. Uh, so we're gonna try different types of ways to shave your face um, and see how the kiwi holds up in that. So enjoy. So our first thing we're gonna use is just a regular disposable razor to see how close we can get the shave on yeah. these. Supposedly Cute. they're a big brand, um, so big. you can either buy a pen or a razor. Yeah. Uh, so very similar. Yeah. So step one, shaving cream. So put it on the kiwi. Um, I've been told since you know I don't I don't actually shave anymore uh, that you don't need much. So. <laughs> you mean you don't? I don't need this much. Just a little dollop. That should be enough. All right. Problem is, is now my hand is full of shaving cream and I don't have a towel to wipe it on. Just wipe it on your hand. Uh, I... <laughs> right, I'm going for it, man. You go for it. Ooh. How is that coming? Really well. So, apply immediate pre medium pressure. I don't, the problem is, is it doesn't even look like it's taking it off. Oh boy. So that's potentially what it would do to you if you purchased this uh, razor and your skin is as tender as a kiwi. So, Dude! <laughs> <laughs> that's a major razor burn right there. I am not gonna hire you to shave me. The heck, man? <laughs> So if you're looking for an interesting way to peel a kiwi, uh, <laughs> you can get yourself... No. Spons is doing well. I'm potentially applying too much pressure. So, But seriously though, you could definitely peel your kiwi with this. Instead of the regular old method of, of cutting them in half and scooping them out, literally you could just grab a razor blade and peel away. Would you rather... The problem is my razor blade is full of peach fuzz now. Would you rather shave part of your face with this same razor right now, or take a bite of your kiwi? Right now. It's good that I don't shave my face anymore with razors, because I really did a number usually on my face. Alright, option number two, an electric razor. Electric clipper. It's a place on kiwi. Oh, look at that, it's working. This is a good razor. I'm nice. curious if it can break skin. Oh. <laughs> there we go. Ouch. Man, you are dangerous with these things. Again, another reason why I don't, don't cut my face anymore. Or shave my skin. <laughs> There we go. And it's clean. All right, brush. Smooth. <laughs> for, all the, for all the feels. Oh, man. I'd Would you rather that. eat this kiwi in one bite? <laughs> or shave a portion of your beard hair off? <laughs> if you said, I already you rather. Did. You said, would you rather? Will you? You did too. <laughs> Which one? And, uh... All right, next up, we're gonna try waxing a kiwi, but we don't have any real wax. Yeah, so we're gonna go around camp and see what we can find um, that we could melt into wax. All right, so we, uh, we went on the hunt for some wax and we found some uh, crayons, a candle, and uh, Spons was gonna provide some of his own wax for our uh, waxing. We were told that the wrapper should come off, but we, we don't think it'll be a problem, so. And, uh, now we wait for it to, uh, Create our wax. 
So uh, it didn't work the way that we wanted it to and our little bowl sunk. So we're going to a different plan, I think. We're just gonna have to improvise. Yep. We could strain it maybe. Strain it. All right. All right, I think we're ready to. Ready. I think we're ready to, to wax the kiwi now. <laughs> yeah, we are. That, this is. Hot. Well, I mean, it's kind of hot. Hold it like that. Well, that didn't work. Uh, the time it took us to come downstairs, everything dried. So, doesn't look like we're gonna be waxing a kiwi today. At least not with crayons. Yeah. Well, moving on to the next thing. So another way that you could wax uh, a kiwi or your face or different parts of your body is duct tape. Um, it's already got the sticky stuff in it and the uh, adhesive. adhesive to pull. <laughs> Thank you, Byron. <laughs> so, you know, stick it on. You probably don't need that much for a kiwi. Get nice and sticky. Oh boy. You gotta let it cure right onto there. And then uh, when you're ready, give it a big tug. <clears throat> you don't want to pull slowly because it might hurt your kiwi. You want to pull fast. <laughs> ah! Oh man. Yeah. And like, look at that. It didn't pull any skin off. So if you want to do it to your face at home, your skin probably won't come off either. So there you go. Sorry, dude. You've got a hairless Kiwi. Uh, lastly, we are going to do uh, hot glue. Um, the thought is, is we couldn't keep our wax warm, so a hot glue gun keeps it warm up until it goes onto the kiwi, and then we're going to put that little strip on, um, which we found around camp, and we're going to give it a pull and see if uh, it works. So, got to get a good amount of hot glue on. Okay, put the strip on. You got to let it sit for a second. Can Hold on to. Perfect. And now we wait. You gotta make sure, like this is this one takes a little bit longer. Um, so if you've got a little bit more time in the morning, um, you can do this method. Just don't make sure it's not too hot. You don't want to burn your face. So once it has fully uh, sealed onto face and fabric, give it a big pull. Oh, look and, at that. Uh, there you go. You, as you can see, there's a uh, peach fuzz in it. Yeah, I expected really it. Well. I was hoping that it was going to rip the kiwi open, mm. but uh, hardy kiwis. Yeah, the only thing that really ripped the kiwi open was the traditional methods in the beginning. Um, so be careful, folks out there. What we've seen from this is duct tape, hot glue are probably the safest bets to shaving your face. Mm -hmm. um, and keeping skin intact. So, uh, there you go. Have a good day, guys. And it turns out wax is not easy to uh, clean up. So, do not try this at home. Yeah. <laughs> or if you're gonna try it at home, uh, maybe look up a better way to do it. So. <laughs>